Welcome to Cooking with Dad. I'm your host, Manny Lopes. Today, we're here gathered around as we typically do on a Sunday, having a big family meal. This is what it's all about. Cooking with Dad. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Dad. I'm your host Manny and today I'm with my boys and we're gonna cook up a terrific meal tonight and we definitely need some bread and some pastries and we're going to our local Portuguese bakery here in Ludlow Mass and pick up some fresh bread and pastries and round off our meal. Ready to go guys? So today we're at the Ludlow Central Bakery where they have a, an excellent assortment of Portuguese breads and pastries that we're gonna pick out to round off our meal. traditional uh, Portuguese pastry here. We ordered some sonhos. Sonhos are a, a fried, uh, kind of like a fried dough. When they're fresh, they just melt in your mouth. They have a little sugar on them. And sonhos is, a, in translating into English, it's called dreams. So every time you bite into it, it's like you're in heaven. It's like a dream. So those are great. So there you have it. We have our bread and our pastry for tonight. We're, now we're going to go back to our kitchen where you can have yours. Let's go. <laughs> we're done. Welcome to Cooking with Dad. I'm your host Manny and today we're going to do a breakfast show. Breakfast is an important part of our family with my kids and today we have a special guest, my sister Natalie. And we're going to cook up some of her uh, special sonhos. It's called the Portuguese Dreams. And if uh, we did another episode with my son where we tried to recreate the sonhos and they kind of turned into a, a nightmare. So today we're going to have the real dreams. My sister's a special a specialty uh, 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 specialist at it, and uh, uh, she's going to show us how it's done. We're also going to do up some other things. We're going to have some Portuguese uh, uh, food that can be for breakfast or for lunch. So we're going to have some eggs, uh, with some steak, and some chorizo, some presunto, and we're going to cook up uh, Natalie's uh, special uh, uh, breakfast potatoes also. So we're going to roll with that. So uh, what, what are you saying, Nat? Uh, what, good. Yeah, you ready to do some sonhos over I'm here? Ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to get some good dreaming going over here. Okay. What, what do we start with uh, when we do the sonhos? For the sonhos, you need the water, a cup of water. Yep. So we've got here a cup of water. We pre-measured some water. We need a stick of butter. Beautiful. We got some butter. Right there. Yep. Pour that up. Pour that into a saucepan. So we need a saucepan. I had one over here. Is this one, is yep, this one big enough? Or? A little bigger. That one's good. Oh, that, one? that one's good. Okay, good. Perfect. Let's put, put that the water over here. in there and get it nice and hot. So we want the water mm -hmm. nice and hot? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. One cup of water. Do we put the butter in there too? Put the butter in there. It'll melt in there. The whole stick. Heat it up the whole stick. And what, what, after we do this, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do? Just put a little bit of uh, salt in there, just a pinch. A pinch. About an eighth of a teaspoon, but I, a teaspoon? I usually just put a little pinch in there. All right, go ahead, Julie. Why don't you do that? Just a pinch like that. A pinch. Maybe two pinches. Okay. There you go. So probably a quarter teaspoon of, of salt we add in there, and the water's getting nice and hot, and it's melting the butter. Yep, melts pretty fast. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. I use good margarine. Though. I use butter, the real thing. Great. You're gonna eat sonyos. You gotta eat butter. Nope. Now, yeah, soap is starting to melt a little once bit more. Once it just starts um, heating up just a little bit, mm -hmm. and you start seeing the bubbles in there. Yep. Which is getting really close now. Yep. Are we'll we gonna the add the flour, flour in, in there? there and some eggs? We have some eggs no, too. No, the eggs don't go in there. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Why don't you? Uh, I think it's pretty well. Yeah, no, looks good. Why don't you? Uh, now you pour. You start pouring the, the. Show me how it's done. The flour in there, and this is important. Um, you pour the flour. You actually have to cook the flour. So we stir. stir is this it up, is this spoon good for stirring? It's like it. Yeah, that one's perfect. And it's going to get really thick and pasty, and that's oh, yeah. what you want. It kind of looks like uh, we're making glue. That's what they used to do to make glue, according to my mother. They used to use flour and water to make glue in the old country in the old days and actually used to work and this is what you do you cook it a little bit longer and get it real thick the longer you cook it the more the water evaporates and just keep stirring it oh, look at that binding right up yep put it back on the heat you gotta cook it hey it didn't do this when i was doing it with frank see you didn't have the pro <laughs> here that's why you didn't have the soy expert 
It takes to have a, my swing. It, it pays to have an heat. expert on the show. Put it on the heat. You gotta cook it. Okay. Put some elbow grease into it. I'm going. Got Good. it. There you go. Oh wow, this is great. Yeah, get it up. Keep it on the heat. Okay. Yeah, see how thick it's getting? It's getting oh, yeah. when, when it's really hard to stir it and you can hardly separate it and you try to separate it and it's sticky, it's perfect. Okay. And then while you're doing that, I'm gonna do the eggs, okay? Okay. You take these eggs, six eggs, pour them in the bowl, and just uh, mix them. Do you use an electric mixer or you can use a whisk? I use I like an electric mixer more than a whisk because you need you're gonna have lumps from that and you need the mixer to get all the lumps out. Okay, good. Perfect. Basically you don't have to do a lot of mixing. They don't have to get foamy or anything like that. Just so all the whites and all the, the, right. the eggs are incorporated and like for, that. For so what do we do? Since that is hot, you don't want to pour the whole thing in here at once. Otherwise you're gonna have scrambled eggs. Oh, I can't and that's really not pour it, I just kinda of put a, a you chunk just put a, a little spoonful at a time and temper the eggs. Mix them in there. Uh, I yeah. make I make a great assistant. Yeah, you do. Yeah, like uh, be better as an assistant than as the uh, the cook <laughs> on this one. Well, I am the expert after all. all right. So the secret is into heating up the flour enough so. Step, and then getting it nice and smooth here. And it's smooth enough now, but if you keep mixing it a little bit more, it'll thicken up a little bit more. Okay. But do you want do you want it to go to the point where it's, uh, you know, if it's too thick? Does yeah. it matter? Yeah. Are they still, are they still yeah, gonna puff still up? Oh, They're yeah. still gonna puff up to the, oh, yeah. the, the way we want? It'll, it's easier to drop it in the oil if it's if they're thicker. too runny. Right, right. It'll get prettier so I know about that firsthand. Yeah, you get much prettier soy. You just take a teaspoonful like that, drop it in. Perfect. Is the oil so good? Go to the bottom. Yeah, that's perfect. And then they'll rise they'll to the rise. top. And when you put more in there, you have to leave enough room. Don't crowd them too much because they will get bigger in the oil. And you have to give them room to dance around, just like. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're just yeah, flipping see, right over on their own. You don't even have to flip happy. them. They're, they're so happy. They're happy in there. They're great. And. Wow, look at that. You can't just cook them until they're brown. you got to cook them so that... Um, they eventually puff out, don't they? They pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. pop. Kind of like, yeah, they can pop over. Right, they right. pop open, and then just cook them for another few seconds, and they're perfect. Roll them in sugar and cinnamon, and you're good to go. Oh, yeah, they're just swimming around, dancing around. Oh, yeah. Having a ball. Yep, swimming around that little pool of oil. So in the meantime, we're also, we're going to, we don't, uh, we, we let them dry a little bit. I when I when we them take them out, out? Just take them out, put them on um, paper towel, just just so they cool down, so they're cool enough for you to handle. Yeah. See how that's popping open? Yep. They're they gonna start pop spreading, and, and that's when, when they, pop they're pop popping. Like that. So, they're cooking, let them pop. so they're cooking on the outside, they, they're getting a little crispy on the outside, and then uh, as the inside cooks, they expand out. Right. See how they're popping? You can oh, hear yeah. them, too. Just let them keep cooking like that. If you don't cook them enough, the inside oh, yeah, will be too They're wet and too moist. You want the inside on the drier side. Right, right, right. So we also, we're, we're, we're going to put a little sugar, cinnamon sugar on them. Yes. Right. So what we did, oops, we did is uh, we prepared uh, a little bit of cinnamon sugar here where we have uh, some regular white sugar, gran mm -hmm. granulated sugar, and we put some, uh, some cinnamon in and, and, and uh, uh, blended it together. This, this is the way you do it? Yep, and you can put as much cinnamon as you like. Some people don't, you know, I've made them without, without cinnamon, cinnamon or, you know, with the cinnamon. I know mom and dad like the cinnamon in them and, right. you know, just put cinnamon in there to taste a few drops or a little bit goes a long way. So we've got some potatoes to do, your potatoes. Yep. We've uh, diced up some, some potatoes in small, small uh, cubes, <coughs> cubes like that. What Look do you at those. Those look beautiful yeah. now. Oh, those yeah. Those look really nice now. Yeah. Yeah, that's almost ready. See how that popped open? That was beautiful. Yep. And when they pop open like that and the inside's oh, white, yeah, I really like them just to pop out. a little bit more, to brown it a little bit. Yeah, now I can see why you said that. Turn it over, brown it a little bit. Yep. And yeah, I'll, just help them a little bit. I I guess, I've getting got a little crowded in that pool. Yeah, it's getting crowded. Take yeah. that out. Yeah, this one, this one here, this one you can take out. See, we're, we're going to roll them in, in, in the, the sugar the now. The sugar, yep. Just roll them in the sugar. Just put them in there and roll them around. Yep. Cover those babies up. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sprinkle some on there. It's better if you roll them. Yeah. You can just roll them like that. So just roll them in the sugar. The sugar is sticking to them a little bit. Yeah. And it's going to give a nice little sweet flavor. Yep. And I'm going to try one right mm. now. Mm. Wow. That's the soy you. Wow. There you go. Oh. That's oh. the soy you. <laughs> I just melt. You, Unbelievable. They are good. Wow. Oh. Mm, unbelievable. Mm. I can't help myself. Uh, this one was, this is actually just one. I'm, uh, I'm eating the other half, so I'm not being a glutton here. I know, they are hard to resist. Mm. They're soft and, mm. uh, Wow. Yep. Just a little bit of olive oil. Yep. And just take the onions and pour them in there. That's not ready yet. Oh, okay. No. That's not getting ahead of you. Oh, no. Onions? You just want more soy. How many? Uh, <clears throat> Depends how, how, how many potatoes you're making. Um, just cook that up. Which one is the front? That's good. Yeah, just heat them up like that. Okay, so what do we, they're, they're caramelizing nice. You want to add potatoes in yet or a little bit more? I wait until they look a little bit clear and then you put the potatoes in there. All right. Because these potatoes are going to cook pretty fast. Good, good. Hey, these sonyus look done. I'm going to take them out. Yep. Great. Put them right in there. All right. Excellent. Perfect. All okay. right. So throw the potatoes in? Mm hmm Good. Yeah, throw the potatoes in there. Put a little salt on them. A little bit in there. How much salt do you put in? Just like sprinkle them on top. So I got about a, about a teaspoon here? Yeah, that's good. Again, depending on, you know, how much salt you like and add to your, you know, yeah, your taste. Yeah, too much salt. A little yeah. bit of paprika. A little nice uh, sweet red paprika you like? You like the same thing? Mm -hmm. I like the... Uh, the Portuguese the, paprika. Yeah, I like the Portuguese paprika. Mm -hmm. It's nice and red. It's Portuguese Spanish paprika. Yeah. yeah. Instead That's of a little color make sure, yeah, too. make sure it's it, it's the red it's red and not not the, the brown paprika. So we're just kind of cooking up the potatoes a little bit, letting mm -hmm. them brown, and this is going to simmer for a little while in here. Yep. Okay. I like to turn it up so they can kind of brown in the bottom. Okay. And just keep I'm going to let it. you handle that, okay. and I'm going to get going on a, on a couple other things right. while that cook up, cooks up because I want to serve that with uh, with some of the other items. Okay. All right. Some of, some of what we're doing also is we're also going to use some of our favorite uh, uh, Portuguese sausage, chorizo. And uh, chorizo is used for breakfast, it's used for, for lunch, it's used for appetizers. We use it a lot. There's different types of chorizos. We have the uh, smoked type and we have the cooked type. Right here we have uh, the uh, cooked chorizo. I've sliced it in half. And so you just take it. It's usually a, a, a big uh, sausage. Cut a section out, you know, about uh, you know four, five, six inches. Slice it in half. Open it up like that. Get your 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 grill going. You can do you can use a pan and uh, fry it up in a pan. But I've got our griddle going over here. If you have a griddle at home, that's great. Sprinkle a little olive oil on there and just put it right on there. And it's going to cook up on one side. Let it cook up a little bit, and then we'll flip it to the other side, and it'll cook. Yeah, that's good. Yep. I'm also, I also have a couple of uh, sliced up a little bit thinner here. We'll cut it up. Just a little, just a little variation of, of what you can do. That's how we do it. I don't buy bacon or anything. You don't buy the bacon? Mm -hmm. Yep. And just let it, let it cook. We're going to let it cook over there. Another variation of uh, a, a, a Portuguese uh, breakfast, lunch, is a steak. Steak a cavalo, they call it. That's a, a, a saddled, kind of a saddled steak, I, if, if you will. And you just take a, uh, a sirloin steak, any kind of steak you like, and uh, thin, put a little bit, of, little bit of salt, a little sea salt, if you like. I have some uh, coarse sea salt and just throw it on the grill. Just move it aside like that. Steak cooks up pretty fast. How are the potatoes looking? Boy, they're looking good. Yeah, it smells good. Wow, I'm getting hungry.
Yep. Yep. And have a good breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Cook it up a little bit. Good start flip it around. Let that get going. In the meantime, we're going to have some eggs with the chorizo and also with with the uh, with the steak. Put an egg on the grill. There's one egg. There's two eggs. I think that's all I can fit. And part of the the the, the steak that we're making is where we're also going to add a little a little ham to it. What we've chosen today is some prosciutto or prosciutto. Sliced very thin. You can slice it yourself. You can buy it at the butcher or at your grocery store, all pre-sliced. You can use, uh, you know, I like to buy it whole and slice it myself though, so it's a little bit thicker. But this is a salted, cured, smoked uh, ham. So we, we'll throw a little bit on the grill just to warm it up a little bit. It's already cooked. You can eat it just as is, but we just want to warm it up a little bit. What I like to do as we go here on my eggs, I like to give them a little bit of color. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going back, to, going back to the paprika the again. Paprika. And I've done this, my, my kids do it now, and, and uh, we just add a little bit of a color to the uh, to